Hi guys, welcome to our first video tutorial entirely dedicated to winter hiking. Today I will describe an easy track on Ismaela, which I highly recommend to those who would like to get more familiar with backcountry snowboarding or ski touring. We are in the region Abruzzo, central Italy, in the Maiella National Park, one of the biggest and most important Italian natural parks. The whole itinerary, which may take up to five and a half hours, consists of two climbs and their respective downhills. First of all, let's see how to get to the location of the Maielletta, where our track starts from. For those coming from the A25 towards Rome or Pescara, leave the motorway at Scafa. Once you get to the cement works in Scafa, take the left uphill towards Letto Monopello. When you get to the town square, take the left and follow the directions to Passo Lanciano. Once you get to the parking area of the ski resort in Passo Lanciano, keep going uphill till you reach the Mamma Rosa Hotel, from where you will clearly see the ski lifts of the Maialetta Ski Resort. For those coming from the A14 towards Foggia, leave the motorway at Pescara Sud Francavilla. Follow the directions to Guardia Grele. After about 20 km along the State Street 263, also known as Fondo Valle Alento, you will see the road signs that will bring you to the small village of Pretoro. From Pretoro, which is worth a short visit, keep going uphill until you get to Passo Lanciano. Then proceed to the Mamma Rosa Hotel parking space, located at 1654 meters above sea level. The track starts right from the parking area and it goes up parallel to the two ski lifts of the Maialetta Resort. On your right, as you go uphill, you'll see what is left of the ski resort's safety net, which traces the security limit of the resort. Once you have passed the danger signpost, keep going up with a slight swing to the right until you reach the road with its quite picturesque wooden guardrail, then cross the mountain pass. Keep in mind that in summertime this road is gravely and you can only cross it on foot. At this stage you will see the TV relays on your left. You will have to head to the right and keep climbing till you get to the chapel of Madonnina del Blockhouse at 2064 meters above sea level. The peak of the blockhouse is further up at 2142 meters. We are basically there now and after a 400 meters uphill we can finally enjoy one of the most beautiful landscapes of the Abruzzo's Apennines, which spans from the mountains of the Gran Sasso, far in the distance, the Morone Mount, Pesco Falcone, Monte Rotondo, the Acqua Viva, the Murelle, and also the magnificent view on the way up of the Adriatic Sea. When you get to this first goal, you can finally start descending and enjoy the first ride, which is actually the wildest of the two, because it's pure free ride. Once you pass the wood fence, you can go down towards the valley in the direction of the Grand Sasso, just in front of you. You can take the Caramanicos shelter, located at 330 meters lower, as a reference mark. The descent is quite nice and not particularly difficult for an experienced and technically prepared skier. Once at the shelter, you will go back on your right, facing the Madonnina, skirting the side of the ridge, which will bring you right back to the little chapel, where you started from. On the way up, you will come across a cross slope which can be a bit uneasy if you're doing backcountry snowboarding with snow shoes. From the Madonnina, you will only have to do the track back and descend towards the lift. You'll end up on the pistes and then at the base of the resort, where the parking area is. Well guys, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Stay tuned!